Hello there, welcome to another video on investing on the stock market and welcome back to another episode of Stock Showdown. It seems like you guys liked my last one, I hope you like this one. We're traveling over to China in the east now and we're doing diversified tech companies. We're doing Tencent, Baidu, NetEase and Sina. Now these four companies are a bit more similar than my last video where I did Apple, Microsoft, Google and Facebook and I've changed up the numbers a little bit. So these are diversified information tech companies. Uh, Tencent is a holding company and they own companies doing everything internet and media related. Baidu pretty much the same. NetEase the same but with a heavy emphasis on gaming. And Sina mostly sticks to apps and social media. But they all do social media, e-commerce, online um, communities, videos, gaming, all of that good stuff and everything mobile. So uh, when it comes to the numbers, we're sticking to five year revenue growth, which is the revenue growth over the last five years. Net margin, which is how much money a company actually makes uh, after all expenses. Revenue divided by cash flow, which is basically free, uh, how much free cash flow a company has compared to its revenue. And free cash flow is the cash left over after all the expenses expenses to maintain the current state of the company is paid. Return on equity is how much money a company is making from the money you give them. So it's sort of dollar earned per dollar invested. And then we have a price to earnings ratio, which it can be an indication of how expensive the stock is. Keep in mind, a high P.E. ratio doesn't mean it's a bad investment. A low P.E. ratio certainly doesn't mean it's a good investment. So without further ado, let's get to it. So we're starting off with the largest company. This is one of the largest companies in the world. And they've still grown 30% every year, which makes up to 150% revenue growth. These are massive numbers for such large companies. 27% net margin, good. It's not incredibly good for a tech company, but it's still good. 30% um, free cash flow, so a very efficient company, has a very good return on equity, uh, but has a very high PE. But in China, just as in the US, tech companies tend to have a higher PE ratio than the rest, so keep that in mind through this whole video. Also, all of these numbers are relative to the company size and they're all relevant to these companies and these companies are quite similar. So um, whichever company posts the best numbers is probably the best investment. And moving on to Baidu, which is quite similar to Tencent, just quite a bit smaller. And uh, Tencent is a holding company, while Baidu sort of does the same things directly. 250% revenue growth over five years for a large company, that's 50% a year. 22% net margin, a little bit lower, only 20% of the revenue is free cash flow, so they have a lot of expenses still. 17.6 return on equity, which is a bit down there. And then we have 32 PE, which is quite attractive. So a cheaper option, two Tencent, and they are showing a lot more growth but they're still struggling a little bit on their profitability and efficiency. Now we're moving on to the gaming play. I've talked about this stock many times. I really like it personally. That is NetEase. This company does everything uh, internet and mobile, but this company actually develops uh, mobile games and they release the Activision Blizzard games in China. And Activision Blizzard is my personal favorite, you know, biggest holding. So very good company, 460% revenue growth, which is absolutely unheard of. I've never seen a company grow that fast. 30% net margin, 37% free cash flow. So they're already very efficient and growing fast. 34 return on equity and only a 21 PE ratio and it pays more than 1% dividend, I think, so great plan. Moving on to the last company of the night and also the smallest company by far, Sina Corporation, which does a lot of internet and mobile, but they they focus mostly on social media, you know, Twitter-esque and mobile development. 
Um, and these come and it it only operates in China. Two hundred percent revenue growth, decent, forty percent a year, no problem. Only twenty two percent net margin, same as Baidu, but they have a forty percent free cash flow. So this is a very um, lightweight company, very efficient, very low cost. I mean, it's a social media and, and app developer. Of course, it's going to have low costs. So very, very nimble company. Uh, these companies are all low cost, high profitability though. Only 8.6% return on equity, which means your money is not doing that much. Um, and it has a 55 PE. So you really have to pay up for that efficiency if you want to go for Cena. So today, it uh, looks like we have a very clear winner. Um, I sort of had a feeling going into this. I didn't look at the numbers but I, uh, before I guessed, but I sort of knew Netties would come out on top. Clear winner on revenue growth. This is absolutely unheard of. This is also a massive company. Keep that in mind. Stock is a very volatile, very up and down, but that's what you get. Has the highest net margin. This is a very important number. I would say these two are the most important numbers. It loses to Cena on free cash flow, so a little bit more expenses, but it comes in at a, at a close second, keep that in mind, has by far the highest return on equity and by far the lowest PE, less than half of Tencent and Cena. So you have to ask yourself, are you willing to pay for these numbers, which are worse than these, at a much higher PE? You know, last time I said I would pr probably invest in all of the companies, Apple, Microsoft, Google, and Facebook. This time, I would only personally invest in NetEase. I am excited about the Chinese tech companies. I think they're all going to do well. I own an ETF called QQQC um, from GlobalX, which contains all of these companies. So I do have some skin in the game. But personally, if I wanted to buy a Chinese tech stock, I would just look at all the five to 10 biggest companies, look at the numbers because I don't speak Chinese, I'm not, I don't live in China, I don't use any of their products. So the only thing I can look at is the numbers, right? And NetEase crushes it. And if you're growing 460%, almost double the second best, you gotta be doing something right. And NetEase, publishes the Activision Blizzard games in China, which in my opinion are the best games in the world. They're very popular over there. So I would definitely go for Netties. Let me know if you're invested in any of these companies. I know some of you are. I get a lot of questions about these companies and Chinese companies in general. Uh, I might do more Chinese stock showdowns, maybe uh, an e-commerce or just China stocks in general. Let me know. I also think I'll have semiconductors, gaming and banks coming up. Do you want me to do any more stock showdowns? I might do aerospace and defense, pizza companies, you name it. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Hit subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.